One thing from the interview, and I actually sat and watched the entire interview, like in the evening. I just sat and watched it and actually really enjoyed it because I wasn't in it. And uh, which for me, is, <laughs> which for me is always a massive put off is is me being in it. Um, yeah. One thing I wanted to put, uh, pick up <laughs> was when you were talking about the Harris boys near the end, and yeah. you said that somebody else apart from what was it? Ron had Sean. Don was watching the door, but I can't yeah. remember if it was your Tom said somebody else was watching the door as well. Yeah, Undertaker. Okay, Undertaker. I think he was in a different clique than Sean and didn't much like him anyway. And I think Undertaker kind of urged the Harris boys on a little bit. Because what I think was happening, I think Sean, and I'm not a firsthand witness to this, but he would get around Vince or get around some of the people in the office like Pat Patterson. He would badmouth the Harris boys like, as if to say, no, don't put me with him, them, blah, blah, blah. And they'll kill me off and this, that. And eventually news of that leaked out to Ron and Don. And they didn't like it. They didn't like Sean much anyway. And you've heard that. A lot of people didn't like Sean because Sean was – egotistical to a, to the nth degree. Nobody was as good as he, he was. And that was, you know, if you think forward a little bit, that was the problem with him and Brett. Both of them thought that the company could not run, could not operate without them. But anyway, when they heard, when the Harris boys heard that, uh, that he was bad mouth of them to Vince, they said, hell with this. And that was the time that the territory, I mean, the company was down anyway, and we didn't have those big contracts. Undertaker didn't have those big contracts. He was making what the uh, house shows drew. That's how he was being paid. If he worked three times that week, he got paid for three times. I mean, he didn't get, get – on a contract, say it's a million dollar contract. Well, if you break that down, how much is that a week? 20 grand, uh, 20 grand yeah. a week. What? Well, he wouldn't make 20 grand. He, he may have made three grand and that's a big difference. But we didn't have those big contracts and Sean was getting all the, the, the main events plus knocking all the, all the other guys that he didn't want to work with. So that was uh, almost a personal assault on their finances, and they got tired of it. But anyway, they jacked him up. I forgot we was had we had some kind of meeting or something, or and before all the guys got back in the uh, in the in the dressing room, you know, Madison Square Garden is not as big in the back as you think it would be. I think they opened up some more dressing rooms later on, but some of those dressing rooms are very small or such a huge arena, but they caught Sean in one or they asked him to come in there and they had two doors leading into the room. I think Ron, Don had one and Undertaker had the other and they were just standing there. And if anybody wanted to go in, uh, Hey, they would just stop them and say, Hey, uh, there's something going on in there. So, and that's when Ron took Sean right here and slammed him up against the lockers. And he told him, he said, if I ever hear my name or my brother's name come out of your mouth again, it's going to be a lot worse than this. And he couldn't, you know, he can't talk, you know, but somebody, somebody has you goozled up against the locker. You can, <laughs> that's what he was saying. But, and he was agreeing and he finally let him go. And he says, okay. I'm not playing. And he left. Now the question remains, did he badmouth them again? I don't think so. Cause you never heard about it again.